Hi friends, my name is Sophie from the Khan Academy Kids team and I am so excited to be here today for Circle Time. Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids is just like Circle Time at your school or preschool or playgroup or daycare where we read books and talk about new things that we've learned all with our friends here in our circle. Today, I'm joined by my really good friend, Paul. So why don't we all say a big hello to Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Sophie. Hi, friends. I'm so excited to be here with you on Circle Time today. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Baby Pigs. Let's get started. Friends, today's book is called Baby Pigs. You can find it just like this in the Khan Academy Kids Library. Let's start reading. Piglets. Baby pigs are called piglets. They live on farms. Life with the litter. Piglets are born in litters. Each litter has nine to 15 babies. Wow, Sophie, 15 baby pigs is a lot of piglets. That is a lot. And you can see they have such cute little noses. And it looks like when they're babies, they like to stick together and huddle together like these little piglets that we see here. They do. These piglets look like good friends. Newborn piglets huddle together. They sleep in a pile to keep warm. That's just like you were talking about, Sophie. The piglets like to huddle together. That looks like a cozy nap. Piglets drink mom's milk together. Each has its own spot to nurse. Older piglets eat grains from a trough. The farmer feeds them. These piglets look a little bit older than the piglets on the last page. Piglets also root for food in the dirt. They dig with their snouts. Oh, I see. That must be why piglets and pigs have such long noses which we call snouts. That's so that they can fossick around and find some food in the dirt. I wonder what they're eating in the dirt. Is it bugs and things? Whatever it is, it must be tasty because they're sure getting dirty to find it. Playful piglets. Piglets love to play. Brothers and sisters chase one another. Sometimes they play with piglets from other litters. Then the piglets roll in the mud to cool off. What fun! Wow, friends, look at all that mud. It must be fun to be a piglet playing in the mud. That's so super! And friends, I'm hearing that some of you have shared some show and tell stories for us. Should we take a look at show and tell, Paul? That sounds great, Sophie. I can't wait to see what our friends have shared with us for show and tell. Let's take a look. Today's first show and tell is from our friend Vian. Vian drew us a pig from the story Charlotte's Web. This pig's name is Wilbur, and you can see above Wilbur the spider's web and the spider, Charlotte, coming down to say hi. Wow, Vian, what an amazing picture. I love all the colors and how you've drawn the farm scene as well with looks like maybe a little shed and maybe a little farmhouse and this fence that's keeping Wilbur in Wilbur's yard. Wilbur looks like a happy piglet, just like in the book we read. Is there another show and tell, Paul? Yes, let's see who's next. Our next show and tell is from our friend Lorraine. 
Lorraine went to the county fair and saw all of these animals. Friends, what animals do you see here in the picture? Oh, wow. Well, a lot of our friends have spotted the pig that's lying down there and also a goat, we think, and maybe even some little ducks. What a fun assortment of animals. Wow, I want to go to the county fair and see animals like this. Yeah. Friends, have you ever been to a county fair? If not, maybe you could look at some books with baby animals. And then I think it would be fun to draw those baby animals or even make a little scene out of things you recycle at home, like a yard full of baby animals. That would be fun. That sounds like a great craft. And if you make one, we would love to see it here on Show and Tell for Circle Time. Up next, friends, we actually have a video from the Khan Academy Kids Office where every spring, a new set of ducklings appears in our pond. Here you can see the mama duck and all of her ducklings swimming around in the pond. Let's take a look. Whoa, the mama duck has decided to get out of the water and all the little ducklings have stayed in the water. Friends, there were so many ducklings in the pond. It was so exciting to get to see them here at our office and watch them grow up from week to week. Sophie noticed how the mama duck hopped out of the water and onto that step. But the little ducklings are too small to do that. So there's that little board that you can see in the background of the video where the little ducklings can walk up it like a ramp. Our last show and tell item today is from our friend Jasmine. Friends, as you remember, anytime you send in your artwork where you've drawn the characters from Khan Academy Kids, we're very excited to show it on Circle Time. So today, we have a picture that Jasmine made of Rhea and Peck. Great job, Jasmine. I love the colors that you used. You got the stripes on Rhea's tail just right. This is such a good picture. Thank you so much for joining us on Circle Time today, friends. We can't wait to see you next time for more reading and games and fun. Goodbye for now from Paul, Sophie, and the whole Khan Academy kids team. Bye friends.